Hello everyone, this is Jesse Guzman with Concentris, and in today's short and sweet video, we're gonna come for something very basic in workflows that if you are not familiar with, are gonna drive you absolutely nuts. Uh, and that is transitions. Um, transitions and user conditions. In this uh, workflow we're seeing on the screen, it's a very, very simple sales order approval, basically taking in that sales order, um, setting it to a pending approval status automatically, having to submit for approval, and then having it be approved by one of these three roles, which is a sales, VP of sales, and in our case, an administrator, which is what you see we're logged in as. Very straightforward transitions from one to another. Now, uh, many sales order approval process are not this simple, and you'll find that you'll want multiple conditions. One of the things that is not very obvious when working with workflows in NetSuite is how to create multiple transitions. So we're gonna go ahead and edit this workflow. We must be in edit mode to be able to do this. And to add a new state, it's very simple. So that's no secret how to do, and it's all here on the screen. And then adding new actions to it as well is very simple as you click on the edit icon and you go ahead and you add your new actions. But it's not as straightforward as what to do with a new transition. For those of us who are used to Visio or um, any of these workflow tools, you typically see on the side of it, you know, an ability to drag an arrow and, and do that. Uh, but in this case, it's a little less obvious. And what you actually need to do is at the same point you have the initial arrow, grab it, but then do your next transition. So in this case, I want this sales order to go straight from the initial state all the way to the approved transition um, if it meets certain conditions. So we are going to set the conditions next. As you know, once you've set a transition arrow, then you go ahead and you edit. And we're gonna make this one fairly simple. We're gonna say execute on submit for approval, which is our step in the first uh, initial state. And we're set a condition that says when the amount of the order is less than or equal to $500. There is no need to go through the approval process and we click save. So there you have it. What you'll be able to do now is go straight from the initial state all the way to the approved state while still following the same workflow that happens at the submit for approval. From a user perspective, they think that it's gone through the workflow and the order will be uh, approved. And if it doesn't meet the conditions where it's $500 or more, then it goes into the sales order approval process that requires one of these three roles to approve the order. Very simple, wanted to show how to do additional states. In this case, there's uh, really no other states that we can do, uh, but we could pull from here, go back, as you can see, and how to set user conditions or conditions uh, for the transition states. Hope this video was helpful and follow us for more videos on short and sweet.